Hey there, fellow geometry enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have an exciting topic to dive into. We'll be exploring the stellated octahedron and learning how to design it using Onshape, specifically using the two tetrahedra approach. So let's just let's jump right in. I'll stop this animation and um, show you my part design where you see the two tetrahedras. So one tetrahedra is a pyramid equilateral for um, faces and then there is just um, this one mirrored and rotated and you see it it shares that same midpoint here and just to recap about the octahedron which i developed from these two by a boolean um, operation the intersection of those two bodies so one approach is that you take this body and um, you extend it outwards, these faces. So here I am in an empty part studio and I start a sketch on the top plane. Press N for a normal view to that, P to hide all planes. S for my shortcuts, I take the polygon tool Start at the origin, pull that out, go to the three-sided polygon, make one edge horizontal, and give it a dimension of 44. That's it for the first sketch. I exit that sketch and go into the revolve surface command take one edge and another edge as its axis i'll keep the sketch one visible so the next triangle i want to draw has this edge and will be on this edge at the point where it is uh, horizontal to this origin. So let's go on the right plane, start a sketch there with the line command, connect that to the origin, go up here. The endpoint is blue, and I'll make a coincident relationship here between that one and that one. Okay. We can hide that surface. And now we will use the curve command, the bridging curve with the match position option. Start up here. Go to the next window. Again, match position. Take that. And so we get the next um, edge. I'll make the sketch number two visible again and do that one more time. Bridging curve, that one and that one. Okay. Now um, I will patch this, uh, those three edges with the surface command fill. This edge, that one, and that one. Now let's make a circular pattern of that face around this axis three times. And this is still a surface body consisting of those three surfaces. I will patch once more the bottom with these three. 
I get the merge with all option. And OK, we got our first part now. Our first triangle here. I will um, give that a name, rename green, and apply that appearance to that body. Next, um, I need a mirror plane. Um, first, I'll hide those sketches now here and create that first plane with a plane point option. Take that bottom face, go on this edge and find that midpoint. And I will use that command once more with the option mid plane between that plane and that one. I hide plane number one here, get plane number two, and we'll mirror this part as a new body over that. Um, plane. Okay, we can hide that plane. I'll make sketch number two visible again, so we get an axis to rotate our part. Um, okay, I think I added it to the body. I want a new body here. And I'll make that red and rename it red. Okay, now we need to rotate um, that body 60 degrees around that axis. So I go to the transform, take that, take that edge, go to rotate here. Okay, I got to pick the axis once more. Key in 60. And there is our stellated octahedron. I want to illustrate how I get the octahedron from this one. So I will right click here, duplicate the whole part studio. Go to the Boolean Intersect um, tool. Take these two bodies here. Hide the curves. Hide the sketch number two here. And there you have the octahedron, or eight faces. That is the meaning of octahedron, huh? And there you have it. Using Onshape and the two tetrahedra approach, we have successfully designed a stellated octahedron. Isn't it fascinating how geometry and technology come together to bring these complex shapes to life? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it inspiring. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting geomet geometric explorations and CAD tutorials. Thanks for joining me today, and until next time, keep creating and keep embracing the wonders of geometry.